Welcome back. In this part of the lesson, we're going to do some enhancements to our watercolor background with a detail brush. Okay? We just got done putting the um, cellophane on here, and we're just going to gently lift it off, and you'll see that here you can see where the creases and crinkles of the cellophane went. Now, in these organic um, amorphous shapes, you can make more watercolor designs. So you're going to need one set of watercolors, a little cup, your clean water and your empty water and a paper towel. And what you're going to do is take, let's say, um, one shape that you think is going to be helpful for emphasizing the movement. I'm going to say let's take this shape right in here. What if I just take a little bit of purple and I go back in this shape and paint that amorphous shape in. Now as I do that, you're going to have to be careful to stay within the confines of that shape. But you can see how I've already brought that design to the front by adding a little extra color in. Notice that I'm just using pure pigmented color. I'm not making washes. Um, but I am using the color fairly thinly because there's water inside of my brush or my paint container in there. But you can see how this one then brings a little more eye emphasis this direction. Then maybe I want to change my color and get um, some blue and do um, maybe just this little shape right here to kind of point the eye around this way and maybe do this shape here. Now those pictures that we just got done looking at on the um, uh, PowerPoint where the, you have the, the water kind of in like ripply sensations, that is one way that we're kind of looking at this painting now. If I, if I think of this painting being ripples on water or dark spots with the ripples in between. You want to think of where are you kind of enhancing your painting and how are you doing it. It's a very thoughtful process of where you're going to put this color. Don't just plop it in any random opening. You want to really think, okay, if I put one here, it's going to draw the eye down here and lead up here. Well, I need one more little space in here, maybe this this one right here. Okay, and almost think of it like as uh, a stained glass window or something. You know, how how are you what you're going to put in here? How's it going to affect the overall feel? of your painting. Now this is a step that if you want to skip because you feel like what you already have is is perfect or it's you know exactly what you want it to be that's fine. Okay, This is just kind of an extra if you're interested sort of step. Um, just another idea to carry through.
All right, I think I'll stop there. Uh, that gives us a nice feel for having some colors coming around this direction. Over here, there's one little area there, and then there's more that come this way. So it kind of brings that movement around the picture. Okay, and that's how you finish the enhancing of shapes with your detail brush and your watercolors.